good. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Welcome to our first live video. Um, I have been very excited for this. I did have a lot of turkey yesterday and I finally came out of my turkey coma. And today we are going to talk about a few different things. Number one is I'm gonna talk about Black Friday deals. As you guys know, if you're in the home gym community, this is the best time to buy gym equipment. And so I'm gonna run through a bunch of companies, a bunch of deals. We actually have an exclusive deal from one of the biggest strength and conditioning equipment manufacturers in the world that is only gonna be released or we will be the first ones to release it today. You have no idea what it is, so you have to stay for that. I'll give it in 10 minutes or so, once people start flooding in. In addition to that, I'm gonna give you a tour of the facility. It's something that you guys have never seen. We've never done a full walkthrough. I think parts of it are probably going to blow you away how much freaky gym equipment we have in this place. Seriously, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, it will be kind of annoying for you, but we do have plans for the equipment to do some good with it, uh, which we may talk about later. In addition to that, it's gonna be an AMA. So throughout the video, if you have any questions, ask me a question. And Sam is actually marking some of the questions, keeping them uh, so we can answer them. And uh, I just wanna say, because yesterday was Thanksgiving, I'm very thankful for all of you. I can't believe, literally, I can't believe I get to do this. Uh, I was gonna be a financial planner. I thought that's what I was gonna do for a living. And just the fact that I get to talk about one of my favorite things in the world and help other people build these things that are home gyms and help their lives and all that thing, sort of thing, uh, I'm just ecstatic that I can do this. So thank you guys for being a part and following. So without further ado, we're gonna start with a walkthrough of the facility. Right now, we're actually in one of the sets. This is our second set. Are we on this one now? This is our second set, and this is kind of where we're constantly moving gym equipment in and out of the facility. So we shoot videos here. This wall that you see here was done by Sam. It was assembled by Sam using pallets from gym equipment, incredible. So then we'll come over here and I will show you the rest, rest of the facility. So we'll start over here. As you can see behind me, we have been collecting functional trainers because we're doing a functional trainer roundup. One of the things I wanted to be able to do with this facility was to do things that nobody else could do because they didn't have the means or they didn't have the space for it. And I think that's something that I can really help people with when we're giving advice. So as I'll show you, we have like 50 treadmills, hundreds of barbells, functional trainers, like dozens of them, so that I can give recommendations on those, comparing them side by side. There's really nobody else that can do that because of the space required for it. We can now do that. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe because we're gonna have a video coming out on that. But we'll come over here. Another example, you'll see lots of these where we have just stacked up equipment of lots of variations. So these are plyo boxes. We did a full breakdown of plyo boxes. A lot that's in here is like dumbbells and just extra, we did a pull-up bar roundup, you name it. There's so much just random stuff in here. I'll bring you back around. This is a beautiful orange wall we sometimes use for backgrounds. We're constantly like ideating in this space. It kind of feels like Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory, but for people that like to lift, right here is a beautiful, turf from play, very nice, and then all the flooring is actually from play as well. As you can see the set, it looks like a brick wall, like an outside brick wall, and we're actually improving these. We're putting a ceiling as well as a garage door. The idea is this, you guys don't have a warehouse you're building a gym in, you're building it in a garage or in a home, you're building it in a smaller space. So our goal is to take a big space, make it small so we can actually like help you with the things you're dealing with, which is often space constraints, budget constraints, that sort of thing. So we're constantly like trying to make this place smaller. And so we have two of these sets. If you come over here, here's our other set. In addition to shooting at my home, obviously in the garage, but we also shoot in here. So this is another set where we bring in lights. Um, there's the beautiful Aries. Uh, that is <laughs> very heavy and still not fully put together because we moved it from my house. Um, and then lots of other equipment. We'll come over here. And this is kind of like a holding area before Sam assembles the equipment, Sam and assembly team. Uh, it's actually Sam and Mrs. Assembly. She also helps him build it. If you come back here, we have lots of weight plates and our loading dock. The loading dock is very nice because we get lots of heavy stuff. So having the ability for trucks to come back, back up, and then put the stuff in is awesome. Over here is a bunch of leftover cross members and it's just a lot of metal, okay? Because the problem with this is if we leave squat racks up, 
and this is Squat Rack City, uh, you'll realize they just take up a lot of space. So it's very nice that they're pulled together so we can separate them. So these are all the squat racks uh, from most manufacturers. I'm gonna show you something here in just a minute that is pretty cool where we have all of the squat racks uh, from every company, but just lots of various squat racks um, from every company you can think of, from every size you can think of. And whenever we want to use them or test them, we move them out with a, a load pallet jack. Yeah, pallet jack. Come over here and you will see, actually let me show this first. This is Bench Alley, so lots of benches, every bench from adjustables to flat that you can think of. Again, ranging in price from very, very cheap on the budget end to very expensive, as well as exercise bikes and, flat, or, and uh, air bikes. So our goal, and this, is, this can sometimes, I think, make people that have been with Garage and Reviews a long time, uh, I don't know about upset, but they're just like maybe confused on, my goal is always to help people move more, and the way that I can help people move more is sometimes with equipment that they're used to using in a commercial facility, a commercial gym or something like that, and may be less intimidating to them. So I wanna provide reviews, not just on the things that I really like, but also things that other people can use and are used to using at their normal gyms. So because I want to provide good information to as wide swath of people and help them move more, we do the same level of content and we're continuing to do more of it on other pieces of equipment besides the stuff that I just love and use. So that includes spin bikes, treadmills, and <laughs> ellipticals, like you name it. You can see it's just ridiculous the amount of machines that we have in here and we're constantly moving them in, moving them out, testing them side by side. I guarantee you there is nobody in the world that is able to do what we're able to do, literally. And there's like big brands out there that are getting into the fitness review space, but they cannot compete because they don't have the wide swath or the information to like provide these reviews. And so we wanna take our world-class reviews that we've done in strength and continue to apply, apply them to conditioning. So I'm excited about it. So, and then more functional trainers, as always, lots of barbells, you will see them throughout the facility. And then I'll take you over here. Uh, this is a different area of the, of the facility. Here's our beautiful uh, $1,000 barbell versus $100 barbell video that we did that was very fun. Here's my Watsons. People are always asking, where are those? They're in here. I'm getting some new end plates made along with like a dumbbell cradle stand. They'll be in my house soon enough. More barbells because we constantly need barbell space. And then look at this. This is Upright Alley. So this is every Upright from every equipment manufacturer that you can think of um, from Rogue, Rep, Frey Fitness, Titan, Griffin, Rogue, Sorenex, Aleco. We have a, a stainless steel Aleco up right there. And here's the goal. Whenever we review attachments, I wanna be able to tell you and help you with the fitment of the attachments. So all the equipment, it's may, it may be made for a three by three rack, but that three by three rack may be a 70 millimeter by 70 millimeter or something like that. So this allows us to test fitment on all that stuff on every equipment manufacturer so we can give you good information. Come over here, don't go in there. We're working on something. And then over here is the smart home gym room. So again, making a big space seem small, this is where we do smart gym tech. Smart gym tech isn't for everybody. I personally like it. I see a lot of value in it, especially because I have family members that use it often and their lives have been changed because they've been able to lose a lot of weight, increase strength using equipment like this. And so we wanna provide reviews on smart equipment. And there's pretty much every one you can think of from Speedy Ants, Climber, Fight Camp, Tempo, Tonal, Peloton, Echelon, like you name it, uh, we're constantly getting them because it's a massive category that continues to increase. Over here, here's my sick custom rest in peace ghost bench. Um, and then this is also custom from Bridge Built. If you'd like to see a review on the Phoenix, it's coming. Make sure you subscribe. We'll come back around. And that's the facility. So here's the facility. Thank you for watching. Let's go into some of the Black Friday deals and answering some of your questions. Okay, I've shown you the facility. 
Um, I first want to reveal like a deal. This is a big deal. This is one that you can't find yet. This is one that's going to be announced later. Um, they may not want me to share this, but I'm going to share it anyways because I care about you guys more than I care about them. This is the deal. Rep Fitness right now, or previously, they were launching deals each day. It was like every day, and they did. It was pretty cool. It was like this, like video game esque type of deals, and they had uh, sweet discount codes, all that th sort of thing. Well, they're trying to increase the deals, make them not just good, but gooder. And so this is the deal. I'm looking at it up here. So if you have a cart between $1,000 and 1999 you get 5% off. It's all based on cart value, OK? So if you buy enough stuff, so basically you're buying racks and kind of things like that, you will get 5% off. And a lot of this stuff stacks. I'll go through the like e exact disclosures here in a minute. Then if you have a cart between 2000 and $29.99, you can have 7% off. If you spend over $3,000, you can have 10% off. So depending on how much you spend between those tiers, you get an increase in discount. Non-rep items count towards your cart value, but won't be discounted, okay? So like if you buy non-rep items, like let's say you buy a C2 row or something, it's gonna count towards the value, but it doesn't discount on those items. Gift cards don't count towards cart value. Local pickup discount does stack. So if you're local there to any of their facilities, it does stack. Loyalty points also stack, so you can use those as well, and no other discount codes stack. So all of those you're able to do. All right, before I run through some of these other ones, um, actually, I just want to mention on that, on that deal, that's a great deal if you're buying a lot. So if you've waited out and you're like, ah, I want to get a rack and all this other stuff, you can now basically get all that and get the 10% off. Sweet deal. OK, um, any question? Or I guess I'll just go through a question. Is there any pull-up bars for doorways? I prefer the, like, the angled pull-up bar. I can't really wall mount anything. Yes, there's lots of different pull-up bars you can use. The one that I use and the one that I have in my, my uh, actually home is the Rogue Stringer. Uh, I think it's called the Stringer. Uh, but it goes basically above your um, door, and it is freaking solid. If you want something that's removable or something like that, there's lots of cheap ones on Amazon, so I'd look at those. OK. I also have some exclusive deals. So I'm going to run through some of our exclusive deals that we have and just talk through them so you see them and answer your questions as we do it. So uh, Rep is obviously a big one. Nordic Track, Tonal, and PowerBlock are all doing deals. Uh, we kind of have these at the top of the page. PowerBlock is doing, the question I've been getting a lot on is Newabels. <laughs> Everybody wants Newabels. Everybody loves Newabels. I agree, they are fantastic. But I'm kind of mad because Newabel is not doing good deals. It's like, SmartFit, please, I know you're watching. Give us better deals. I will say, we do have an exclusive. It's the only one running right now. They had a deal. Our exclusive deal is actually worse than the deal they had on their website, which I'm really annoyed at. I hate when they do that. But they have a deal right now that, honestly, if you go to the site, there's no other deals except ours. And so the deal right now is you get 20% off a Newbell stand if you also buy Newbells. So you buy Newbells and the Newbell stand from SmartFit, and it ends up being 20% off the stand. You have to use the code, all caps, GGR Black Friday. GGR Black Friday from SmartFit, and you can get those, the stand for 20% off. But I want to say, PowerBlock, which is fantastic. People are always looking for adjustable dumbbells. PowerBlock's deal right now is very good. It's take 15% off site-wide. It doesn't include their commercial products, which is kind of annoying because you can't do the knurled handle, although I'm hoping and holding out they have a neural handle option eventually that is standard for everybody. But you can also do the aftermarket stuff from like JD Jim Equipped, or I've seen Griffin actually has handles and other companies too. Or you can save 20% off on the Sport 24, 50, EXP, and kits, and the Sport Bench. The Bench, I'm not really like, I'm not gonna call out, but the Sport Kits, that's a good deal. Because the Sport Kits are similar to the urethane options, same mold that's just not coated in urethane. And you can get the kits up to 90 pounds. That's a freaking, that, like, that's probably the best deal on adjustable dumbbells. Very good for a very heavy set. Much cheaper than what new bells would be. Although, I really like new bells. Also, we have some couple deals here. Force USA, get a free Patriot bar, which is actually a 200K tensile strength bar. It's like their 
best general purpose bar that they offer. They have the same deal on their website, but if you go through their website and not our code, then it's actually a worse barbell, but you still get a barbell, plus an additional 5% off with code GGR5 um, on their all-in-one trainers, so like the G20 um, and X15, X20, those sorts of things. There's others that are here. If you'd like to see any of these, go to the link below the like button because there's lots. I'm not gonna run through all of them, um, but there are many here. Questions? The, Sam, have you found any great questions to answer? If you could only choose two items to start your gym with, which would you go with? Well, this one's hard to answer because you, in order to use a barbell, you need plates. So if it was like two items, it would be a barbell and unlimited plates if that's the scenario. But I would probably go with a barbell and plates. Oftentimes that's considered one item and I'd go with adjustable dumbbells. The one thing I will say on adjustable dumbbells, I've kind of changed my mind on this a little bit. One really cool way that you can use fixed dumbbells but have a wide range, like a very wide range, but use like the balanced, nice fixed dumbbells without spending a ton of money and taking up a ton of space is you get them in 10 pound increments and then buy the plate mate two and a half pounders that stick on the ends. That's a, that, cause then you, have, you can make the jumps. You can also get one and a quarter plates that stick on two. I really like that idea. It does take up more, more space. I think adjustable dumbbells are king, but I think it's interesting. What work, workout regimen do you follow? So I follow Future. This isn't sponsored by Future, so I'm not gonna plug them too much, but Future is very good. We have a deal with them. <laughs> this is how much I like Future. My wife uses Future and I pay for it. So like, I get it for free from Future. I've used it for two years. If I didn't like it, like I can have other programs free. I like it that much. I've used it for over two years. I like it so much. I got my videographer to use it. I like it so much. We also have Brittany using it. We like it so much. I've tried to get Sam to use it, but he's not working out. Just kidding, he is working out. But my wife also uses it. Um, I mean, it's just like, ah, it's that good. So you can get it right now. This is the best deal that I've seen yet. $19 first month. Every month thereafter, it's gonna be discounted 25 bucks if you sign up, like I think today is maybe the last day. Um, so you have to use, let's see here, you have to go through our site, through a link, there's a link um, on the website, uh, and you'll get your first month for 19 bucks, and then 15% off your monthly membership into perpetuity. That's a pretty good deal, because usually it's 150 bucks. Okay, what equipment, if any, would you recommend buying secondhand? Durable goods, buy durable goods. An example of durable good is a cast iron weight plate. It's not going anywhere, it's not gonna break. Like, you can just use it as long as you'd want. It's gonna remain, you know, if you buy a used one, it's probably gonna be like 23.2 pounds when reality is 25 pounds, but it's gonna stay that amount of weight forever. I would look at those secondhand. A couple of years ago during the pandemic, it was not really worth buying used because it was so expensive. It's like, if you had to have it, you'd get it. But I'd recommend those. Barbells too, you just have to check if they're straight, power racks, any of the higher end, I think a good idea, a good strategy buying secondhand is look for commercial products. So you're talking about like your Sorenexes, hammer strengths, like power, uh, any of those like bigger like brands that are out there, those are ones that like their equipment is seven gauge, it's made to freaking last. I would look for the higher end stuff. It's gonna last forever. Currently I have a power rack and dumbbells. Should I add a pulley tower with adjustable height or lat pull down low row? I, I would go with a lat pull down low row because you can go heavy with it. And if you go heavy, you can get stronger. Like, and you can also use it you can use the base pulley oftentimes for curls and use it like you would a pulley from the floor. Um, pull down handle, you can also use that. I see Jim Wendler from 531, he uses his lat pull down for like face pulls and all sorts of stuff. You can use it for tricep extensions, all that sort of thing. So I think a lat pull down low row is more useful for most people than a cable tower. It's also probably gonna cost less, it's gonna have less weight there. That's what I'd go with. but. In reality, I'd probably just go with both. Hmm. All right, what would you suggest, bike erg or assault runner? Are, ooh, this is a good question. Right now, assault, I'm glad you mentioned this. Assault actually has a really good freaking deal. Somebody posted about it in the home gym community. If you'd like to join us and 150,000 others of the biggest, most dedicated home gym people in the world, please, we are your people. Come join us at our Facebook group. There's a link below the like button. You can join, and I personally may admit you. Depends if you answer the questions correctly. But Right now, Assault has a deal where if you buy their elite 
runner, so their top runner, it's not only discounted, but you'll get a free elite bike. So it's a discounted runner, plus you get a free elite bike, all in one package, and like the deal's actually really freaking good. So that's what I would look at. Zero shoes, you're sporting. I always wear zero shoes. They're kind of my go-to now, except when I'm wearing like my dad and New Balances when I'm on a date with my wife. Uh, these are amazing. These are HFSs is what they're called. They're just, not, I mean, they're just so minimal. Um, they're kind of ugly. I, I think these are kind of ugly. Honestly, zero, uh, if you guys are watching, just make them look a little bit better. Like why not take like a, a New Balance 993 or something and just chop the heel off or something or like Nobles look freaking sick. I just wish they were more minimal. Um, but I wear them all the time. I don't care how ugly they look. These are all black like restaurant shoe and then I have some other colors too. I really like them. Uh, I need more leg equipment variety for my home gym besides my power rack. I have limited space. I'm interested in a V-squat, pendulum squat combo recommendation. So I really like belt squats. I use my Rhino belt squat literally every workout, not just for belt squats, but I use it for calf raises. I use it for deadlifts, RDLs. I use it for curls. I use it for pull downs. I freaking love that piece of machine. From Rogue, like Rogue's made a lot of freaking great equipment. The belt squat Rhino, I think, is their pinnacle. I think it's the best thing they've ever made. I, it's just so good. It is. I've never met anybody that's used it that like doesn't like it. The amount of versatility you can get from it is insane. Uh, yeah, I, just, I could talk about that all day. I really love that piece. So I'd look at that. Another thing is like you can get cheaper belt squats. We did the review on the Revolt belt squat. Like it is very cheap, but you can get it done. I actually think Bells of Steel after that video. Uh, we got a lot of comments. Bells of Steel makes a jammer arm that is very cheap and also um, can be turned into belt squat. Speaking of that, belts, Bells of Steel have a lot of deals going on right now as well. Um, they're making a, I think right now in the, in the value equipment space, so I'm not talking like the really high end, I'm talking like great for home gym, gym owner, but still high quality, going to be safe, all that stuff. Bells of Steel is killing it. Like seriously, they are killing it. I really like their stuff. So I'd look at that. And then another one is landmine. I love the landmine. I think the landmine is very underrated. Going back to that question about two pieces of equipment, if I could have three, I'd probably add a landmine in there. Because you can use it for so many things. It can replace dumbbells in certain ways. You can use it for goblet squats, all that sort of thing. For leg days, you can also use it for single arm RDLs, hamstring exercises, all that sort of thing. I love it. Um, so I'd recommend something like that. Uh, sen most sentimental piece in my home gym? That's a good question. So I have these, I have these plates from Rogue Fitness. They are, uh, they're Arnold plates. There's only, I forget how many there are in the world. Uh, I've talked to them and they've told me there's like 30 something in the world. These ones were the first off the line. So they're imperfect. They're, they're far from perfect. They're rusty because they're not coated. Um, they're ugly. They told me how much they cost to literally bill it because they just take a big fat piece of uh, steel and then CNC cut it out. They're not, they don't look as good as the ones they use on stage at the Arnold Classic on like the elephant deadlift bar, but man, they are just cool. They, I mean, I love those things. And there's a cool story how I got them. We've done a full video on it. Uh, yeah, I really like those. That's probably the most sentimental. Um, also, uh, my wife has gotten me some equipment over time, so if she's watching, anything that she's gotten me, definitely the best. Elite versus Sport Power Blocks. I like the Elites because they're made in the USA, and I like to support US manufacturing when I can. Um, so I like those, and they're not that much more expensive than the Sports. And I like the compact size. I just have used them a long time. I really like those. But the Sports are very similar, if not the same thing, and they're cheaper. So for most people, the Sports is probably the best value. Um, I want a safety squat bar today. Titan the best value now. Ooh, okay, so you got Titan and you got Rep. And you got Bells of Steel. These, those are like, I think right now, the three like value plays. Elite FTS, they always sell their SS yoke around Black Friday time for a good price. And I use that one a lot. Um, but I would say Titan and, uh, here's the problem. Titan and Rep, they're competing right now on price. Reps is a little bit more than Titans when Titans is on sale, and Titans is on sale a lot. Uh, Titans is made in the USA, which is pretty dang cool. Um, but I really like the knurled handles. You have to decide, do you want the knurled handles or not? 
if you don't want the neural, if the neural handles don't really matter, which, you know, they're aesthetic, they feel grippy, all that sort of thing, but I think you'd be fine with the other ones. Um, I think the Titan one is probably the best value if you don't care about neural handles. But if you do care about neural handles, which you should, because neuraling feels great, I like it so much, I've got a ring with neuraling on it, um, I'd, go with, I'd go with the rep one. Uh, but I think I, that's a kind of a non-answer. I don't like giving answers like that. Rep's the best, or Titan's the best value. Tit that's a freaking great value. All right, I'm interested in a Force USA folding power rack. I'm, oh, okay, do you know if any brands brand has the foldable racks. I don't know what the Force USA rack you're asking about, but I will say of folding racks, my favorite one is actually a fold up rack, it's PRX. PRX has the best fold up rack system. It is very well made, it's, it's genius. No other company has it because they have patents on it and they defend their patents. It, dude, it is so good. Being able to just pick it up, put it on the wall with hydraulics, it is so easy. My grandmother could do it. It's so easy. Assembly Sam could do it. It is incredible. I'd go with one of those. Sam's catching strays. I can't see your face. Are you crying or laughing, Sam? He's laughing. Okay, good, 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 good. Can you show a picture of Sam right now? Can you can you show yourself? Yeah, there we go. There's the crew. Say what up. Yeesh. Um, yeah, shout out to the crew who is working on a Black Friday when they could be purchasing things from Target, although this is much better, um, and they're working hard. So thank you guys for being here. But foldable racks, I would look at PRX. PRX actually does have a sale. Um, man, we have so many deals. Five to 10% off all their profile one and pro folding racks and a free t-shirt, uh, which, <laughs> t-shirt, yay. Um, and save between five and 40% site-wide. So honestly, they don't, they discount their products often, but they don't discount their racks because their racks are so good. If you're gonna buy one, now's the best time to buy it. They're fantastic. So thanks for asking that question. Do you think any good deals on stair, uh, yeah, stair climbers. Uh, well, depends. So we have, some deals with some conditioning equipment companies. The problem is they don't all make stair climbers. Stair climbers are uh, very good. Like I love stair climbers. They're very expensive, very big. So not a lot of companies sell them that are marketing to home gyms. I will say for like conditioning equipment, Nordic Track for instance, save up to $300 on popular cardio and strength equipment. They don't have a ton of strength equipment. They have some really nice adjustable dumbbells below 50 pounds, but $300 off of their cardio equipment um, and then we have some others here like hydro if you're looking for a rower but for stair climbers because it's a commercial piece of equipment and commercial companies are typically buying on Black Friday they'll just buy it whenever they want they're not discounting those a lot so I'm sorry I don't know really any off of the hand um, what's your favorite giveaway donation you've done oh Easy, easy, easy. You saw in the countdown timer some of the footage from when we went to New York and visited FDNY. I, I, I am so appreciative of our firefighters, our police officers, our military members, and the way they sacrifice for their country and their communities. Um, the, the opportunity we had to go out to FDNY, meet those guys, uh, run through their facility, like I was able to do their kind of workout thing. Um, you can check out the video on our page. Uh, and also to surprise them with a $50,000 check was amazing. So for you guys watching, um, there are the links that are on our pages are affiliate links. And those affiliate links, they pay us a commission. So what happens is you go to the site, you click through the link, you buy something say on amazon.com or somewhere, that company will then pay us a commission. They don't increase their, their uh, how much they charge or anything like that because you're going through the affiliate link. They just pay us a commission. And that's really how the internet's run. I mean, that's just how all publishing companies run it. Not a ton talk about it, but I think it's important to be transparent. So because of that, that's how we're able to operate a business. And because we are able to operate that business, we can then support other people like doing gym giveaways. So we do like, we outfit people's gyms. We're working on one where we wanna outfit a high school gym where a lot of you sent in high schools that you think could use it. I'm, I'm really excited for that. But the ability to give FDNY, surprise them with a big fat check and to see them literally cry, like it makes me wanna cry right now. Like it was just, yeah, it was seriously so cool. I love that I get to do this. 
Um, would love to hear your thoughts on Oxfit. So I got to use Oxfit when I was at Ursa. I would love to do a full review on it because it does have a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, it's made for the commercial market. They have the cheaper version, which is the more budget-friendly version. The weight is not as heavy. The big unit got pretty heavy. Honestly, just from my, I, from my limited use at Ursa, that versus Tonal, Tonal is superior. From my limited use, I would like to use it more. The thing with Tonal is not only is the magnetic resistance really good and all the software, the software is like insane. Like the data they're able to track is ridiculous, but their classes blow everybody else away. It's Peloton level. Like it's that, uh, it's, it's right below Peloton. Peloton is still better, but the classes from strength and conditioning is so good. And they're actually offering 250 bucks off, I think it is right now, on any of the Tonal trainers. So if you go through our links, you'll be able to get 250 bucks off a Tonal. Um, yeah, I really like Oxfit, but for me right now, my recommendation without using it more, I'd go with Tonal. That said, there's another company called Speedience that's coming out and it uh, has like, up to 2,000 pounds resistance. It uses isokinetic resistance. Uh, I'm just talking about this because I, I freaking love it. I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking forward to using it. I love this kind of stuff. Um, it's very similar to a piece of equipment I use called Arc, Arcs Fit, something like that. That's a $40,000 device. Crazy eccentrics. Uh, and just allows you to basically match your resistance or match your strength with resistance. Um, it looks like a cool device. I'd look out for that one. Just getting into lifting, could you recommend a bar and rack I should buy today? About a $500 budget, if even possible. Let's go to some sites. So I'm gonna go to probably rep because, well, you're just looking for a bar and plates. Can you put that one on the, on the screen for me, Sam, on the sidebar? Uh, you're looking for a bar and plates the places you're probably going to be looking for is uh, I would because you're not going to have a huge cart. You're just looking for the biggest discount on those. You're not going to spend. You may spend over a thousand bucks. So these are the sites I would look at. I would look at Bells of Steel. I'd look at Rep. I'd look at Titan. I'm going to give you a exact recommendation. <laughs> Titan. I like how, what was that? Titanic, such a good movie. Fantastic. Um, and then I'd also, I'd check out Rogue too. Uh, you're gonna pay more with Rogue, but uh, it's gonna be fantastic. So for bars, if you're going through Titan, the Blue City Bar, and I would suggest just buying from run, one retailer, you got 500 bucks, dude. Mm. Mm. Here's what I would do. I would buy a Synergy Regional Bar, okay? That's a, a deep cut there. A lot of people won't give you that recommendation because they don't know about it, but those that train or that use a lot of different barbells, if you use a Synergy Regional Bar, it's one of the best values that's out there. It's not like, it's not the best bar, but I think it offers really good value um, and it's high tensile strength steel. I wanna say it's, let's see, I don't wanna just throw it out if I'm wrong. They say 1,500 pounds. No, they, I hate the 190K tensile strength. So 190K tensile strength um, for, it's gonna be for their Chrome version. Mm, they're not discounting as much. Mm, this gets harder. Ah, ah, they, have the, they have the 15 kilogram on sale. So if you're looking at that, then maybe the Rep Saber Bar, maybe the Bells of Steel Power Bar, or a Rogue Fitness Echo Bar. Any of those I think will work. Let's see what the Blue City is right now. Or I actually think they, they renamed it. They named it on the Titan series. Drink my coffee. Check out, uh, isn't that cool? Let us know in the comments if you want us to do merch. We haven't done merch yet. Let us know if you want it. See, that's too expensive for, your, for what you're looking for. You just need a good bar and then spend a ton of money on plates. So Bell's Steel Power Bar if you're powerlifting. Um, I'm giving you, I'm going through this in detail because you paid for your comment to be seen, so thank you for supporting us in that way. Or I'd go with the Echo Bar or the Rep Saber Bar. Any of those is gonna be around 200, below 200, Saber's 200. Oh, that's for the 15, they trick you. Oh, no, 230, that's the, okay. Let me see what the Echo Bar is from Rogue. Dude, 225, you're probably gonna have to pay shipping, but 
That's a hard. That's a hard bar to say no to. Rogue is the king of bars, dude. I, I don't know. Do you think Rogue? Let me in the comments. Do you think Rogue is the king of bars or Laco? That used to be a big deal. Like they used to battle. Rogue just their vol the because they're able to produce at such volume, they're able to discount really well. And then for plates, what I would do probably the best value on plates may be Reps Equalizer or actually Bells of Steel had a crazy sale on their plates. Um, these Mighty Grip plates. Let's see. These is what I go with. So because you're going through Bells of, uh, they have free shipping. So I would go with, all right, I'm going to give my recommendation. I go with a Rogue Echo Bar 2.0, or I'd go with a Rep Saber Bar for 200 bucks. No, I'd go Reco, Re, Rogue Echo Bar. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Rogue Echo Bar 2.0, and then I'd go with a bunch of plates from Bells of Steel because they're going to be about the cheapest plates. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Best deal on bumper plates today? If you're buying a lot, you're spending a lot of money, it may be rep because they're gonna have their discount. And it depends if you want like black bumper plates versus the others. If you really wanna like look look at True Grit, their, um, their bumper plates have been on sale from like Best Buy and like all these places. Also on their site, they've had some really good deals. Uh, let me just look here. True Grit, oh come on. Technology's great when it works, right? Uh, what an exciting deal. Save cash on a variety of home gym must-have pieces, plus score free shipping on orders over 600 bucks. Uh, go to their site. They have, they're discounting heavily on some of those goods. Um, compare the Titan rack behind you to the Rep 5000. Okay, this is the Titan series rack, the Titan Titan series rack. It's like the self-titled album, you know, uh, versus the Rep PR 5000. The Rep PR5000, uh, if you want to take, you want to take the camera and show it? So Nathan's going to show it so you can see it too. We have it next door. Um, the PR5000 has a lot of benefits that this doesn't. One is the fact that they have way more attachments that are made for it. Uh, this, the Titan series can be offered in a higher height. So they've got this one only, I think, at 100 inches. They may have it an, another one at really short. Um, Make sure you save that comment from Chris, Sam, the one that's, thank you for supporting us. Um, this one is not as modular. You can buy different parts for it from any of the companies because they're three by three or 70 millimeter by 70 millimeter, or maybe it's a little bit more than that. But um, this one is going to be a similar price. All in all, this one does have keyholes. So they have the same keyhole design as Rogue Fitness and Ray Crother. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Ray Crother, but they're the only companies. I think they like got the rights from Nebula or something. They're the ones with the keyhole design. Uh, Titan has it on theirs too. My rack at home is almost all Titan series uprights with Rogue Cross members. They don't fit perfect, but it's close enough. I just put new monster stall bars in the gym, by the way. I need to show you. They look freaking sweet. But Reps, Reps is, is more well-designed. It is. like It just... Their Aries, their lap pull-down attachments. This is what Rep is doing, which I'm very impressed by, is they're taking and creating and innovating new equipment. And Titan is doing that some, but not as much yet from what we've seen from them come out this year as Rep. Rep has come out with more innovative stuff than anybody in the strength equipment industry this year than any of the other companies. I'm not saying like, Overall, I'm just saying for this year, Rep was king of innovation. Like it's just like amazing. And they're getting benefited by it. You see, everybody's talking about Rep. I expect next year to have more competition because companies will feel the heat and they'll compete. And that's why we all win uh, in the marketplace like this. So it's better for home gym owners. But if I was gonna go with one system and I just wanted to buy it all, I'd buy the PR5000 over the Titan series. This is, this is like, these uprights are fantastic. I love the keyhole design. It's just they don't have as much attachments or as, as built out system as rep yet. Just my opinion. All right. Do you still stand on your opinion about the Titan T3? I just got the 91 inch option. Here's the problem with the T3. Make sure you save, uh, what's the best space for a gym? Save that one. Why is it a base? Oh, come on, dude. Basement Brandon is going to be in the, in the chat letting us know. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. 
Before I answer that, that other question, basements are okay. Here's my problem with a basement. I like light. I have a basement in my house, but it's a walkout basement, so there's windows. A lot of people's basements don't have a lot of windows. So that's annoying. I also really like opening my garage door, going outside and training. Like, I love that sort of thing. I think you're missing part of the experience by putting it down in the cellar. But I will say, I've seen some awesome downstairs gyms. And I've seen people like, they're so dedicated to the basement, they'll build their house thinking, I need this tall a height in the basement so I can overhead press. Brandon's a perfect example of that. And I think that's cool. So I'm down for anybody moving anywhere, whether that's basement or above ground. But personally, I'd rather be closer to heaven than hell. And that's why I lived in a garage. Okay. Uh, do you stand on your opinion about the Titan T3? Here's the problem. When the T3 came out, two by three was kind of the standard. Like, that, like when it was competing against the R3, I had the R3 when it came out. Freaking love that rack. Amazing welded panels. Like, it also just felt cool because it was the same one used at Westside Barbell with Westside hole spacing, made in America, black powder coat. You can have it in any color you want so long as it's black. Like, it was just like, ugh. It just felt, you felt strong using it. Titan came out with theirs, which was much cheaper, made overseas. Like, that rack put them on the map. You can get just as strong with that rack as you can with any other rack. That's the reality. However, if you're looking to have attachments, you're looking to build a full suite of gym, and you're looking to like really bring it into the modern market, the two by three is donezo. It is. Like companies are saying goodbye to two by three. Like they're just like, two by three doesn't make sense. Why does it not make sense? Because everybody's making attachments for, th for three by three, and you can only use your attachments on one side because it's two inches on one side, three inches on the other. Three inches, a square, just makes it more sense. Three inches by three inches, which is why, not, I won't go on a tangent there, but three by three, that's what I'd go with. If I was gonna get one, I, and you want from Titan, I'd go with their X3 series. I think that's gonna be better long-term value. Problem with T3 is Rogue's kind of like, they don't really make any of their new attachments for the Infinity series. It's kind of sad, which is what they built their name on, but understand from a business standpoint. Rep, I don't even think they make a two by three rack anymore. Um, most companies don't. Sornex never did. So, yeah, I'd go with a, a X3 probably. Uh, which spin bike do you not recommend? Do you, do you recommend? Not interested in Peloton because I don't want vendor lock in. Ooh. So, the best spin bike, the best, like the gold standard, I'm sure there's better, but this is the one that's considered everything is compared to this, is the Kaiser M3i. That thing is amazing. If you go in any commercial facility and they're worth their, their salt, they're gonna, be ha they're gonna have Kaiser M3Is. Like, they're very good. The problem is they're not really tech enabled. It's kind of an, like an older legacy company. They're not building them, they're a much better built bike than say a Peloton, but they don't have the tech features. If you wanted to use an iPad on them, you could, but it just doesn't work as well. Um, so, I'd go with like a Kaiser M3i, um, Nordic Track has their S22i, which uh, it's an okay bike. I really like the Carol bike. I think it's a really interesting application. And if you use it, it, it works. It's scientifically based and backed. It's, it's good. Um, but all that to say, what I'd probably say is I really like a biker. I think bikers are very underrated within the spinning and cycling community or get a cycling trainer. You know, like there's so many like big companies or like really cool companies that are doing things for cycling. So you can use things like Strava and some of those other connected apps. And um, if you get a nice like Wahoo kicker or something like that and get a nice bike, you have a bike that you can use outside and inside. I think that's a, a cool option. Um, Want to purchase a yoke to use as rack? Rogue and Rep have great looking yokes, but what's your opinion? Here's my opinion. The Rep, the rep yoke is better than the Rogue yoke. It's more well thought out. It's more modern. It's actually a very well th thought through piece. This is the problem. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. It's just too freaking heavy for the majority of people. If you're a strong man, whoever's asking the question, I don't know your numbers. I, I know they're less than mine, but I, did, I don't know them overall. Just kidding. Uh, I, I would say it's probably too heavy to move inside and outside the garage. So for that reason, I'm, I would go with probably the Rogue. The problem with the Rogue, Rogue just needs to come out with, somebody just needs to come out with a basic three by three, 
standard, not all the heavy duty stuff, like just three by three, make it heavy enough to, to like strong enough to lift on, um, make it easy, light enough to move around. But for right now, I'd probably go with the Rogue Y1 or Y2 yoke because then you move in and out of your garage easily, it's light enough. I have the Y1 yoke. If I was to restart my gym and I was gonna do a minimalist setup um, on a budget, I'd go with the yoke. I say all that, and I just gave the recommendation to not buy Infinity products that are two by three because they're going out, and that's an Infinity product. But that's the one case I think makes sense. You never mention Vulcan products. Are they any good? I mention Vulcan products sometimes. Vulcan products, Vulcan products are overall, not in every case, they have some cool pieces like alpha plates and things like that, but they're just not doing as many innovative things. They're not marketing as well. It's not as easy to buy all those sorts of things as their competitors. So Titan and Rep and Bells of Steel, I feel like Vulcan has just kind of stayed where they were um, and all the other companies have kind of like innovated. Feel the same thing with American Barbell. American Barbell, their barbells are amazing, world-class. Like they are. They never get talked about because you always forget about them. You, don't, you forget they exist. Like, because they don't do a lot, they do very little seal sales. I don't see their marketing very much. But man, if we're just talking like pink slip for pink slip, like their best bars out there are like a American Barbell bar, a Rogue bar, and a Laco bar. Like, you know, you could throw in like your Usakas and some of those more niche brands. But like, you're talking about viability for everybody and Kabuki. Like, those are the kings. Which, by the way, Kabuki has a sale today. And Kabuki doesn't typically do like big sales on Black Friday. Um, oh, they don't even, we don't even have their, every $100 spent. Let me just check this out, because I know they got a sale. There's their warehouse clearance. 15% off from Kabuki. That's great. That is great. So you go through the site, 15% off, first Black Friday sale in years. I don't know how many years. That could be two. That's the minimum, but that's freaking great. And their Kabuki uh, Cadillac bar, um, the Transformer bar, like their new gen power bar, just talking about barbells, like world class. The new gen power bar is the power bar I use the most. The Kabuki Cadillac bar is the multi-grip bar I use the most. I was using the Transformer a lot, but man, I just kind of like the feeling of a normal uh, safety squat bar. So like for me, it's like the rep because I like the neural handles or I just really like Elite FTS SS yoke. I've had it forever. There's some sentimental value. I've had blood, sweat, and tears. Some of that has been my children falling and, you know, scraping their arm and hitting the belt of steel or hitting the Elite FTS SS yoke. Some of it's mine, but fantastic bar. Uh, better value to buy a barbell, squat rack, adjustable dumbbells, and add attachments or purchase all in one rack. Here's the problem, Brandon. If you First, I'll say if you haven't had a home gym yet, figure out if you're going to work out at home. So just work out with body weight for a little bit. Just figure out if you like it before you go all out. But better value to buy a barbell squat rack and add attachments. Oh, all in one rack. I think you'll like it better if you purchase the attachments and get a modular system versus, say, like a Force USA G20. Like, I think G20 is, is great. X15, those are great. The problem is I... Or, and I think most people feel this way that are in the home gym community, really, really like uh, being able to, um, what was I gonna say? They really like being able to build their gym. Like it's, a, it's as much of an experience and as much of a hobby to like do like the design and the building and the attaching, all that stuff, like fill your space, know where to store stuff as it is to use the equipment. Like there's some people that they just, they'll work out in a dungeon with rusty weights. They don't care because that, that component doesn't appeal to them. But it's the same people who used to spend their money on cars now spend it on a sick home gym. And I think a home gym is a much better hobby than a car. I'm not saying a car is a bad hobby, but a home gym, not only can you build the thing and, and have all the cool stuff, but you can also use it and like live longer and more healthier. So for me, I would prefer, and I recommend a lot of people, I think it would be, I behoove you in the long term and you'd really like it. And it'd probably come out to a better value if you pick and choose the pieces you want that are more modular versus an all-in-one system. Okay. Any good made in the USA barbells that are smooth sleeved? Hate the sound of rib sleeves. Man, I'm so sad to hear that. I love rib sleeves. More ribbing, the better. You know, like I just want it to just like, when I put a plate on. 
I, I love that feeling. Um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, they are. American Barbell. That's, that's, the, that's a fantastic, amazing bars that are smooth sleeved. Yep, and Nathan's checking. Nathan, can you, can you stroke that sleeve for me real quick? <laughs> no, you can just just let me know. Is it smooth? It is. Yes, it's smooth. Thank you. Yep, that's what I go with. Does the rear stabilizer on the rep rack make a large difference? I have a six post with front, but it still has a wobble. Yes, get the rear stabilizer. And the rear, sta rear stabilizer is really well designed. They actually came out with a 2.0, but it allows you to still put a bench in the rack or an adjustable bench um, without it getting in the way. Titan, for instance, they came out with a lap pull down. Very cool for the Titan series, but they, I don't think they went as far as they could have because they didn't do the angle. They made it straight. So it like you're running into it whenever you squat and everything like that. The rear stabilizer on the rep rack fits perfect, increases the stability, allows you to use a lat pull down, but doesn't inhibit your, the use of the rack, which is very nice because you want to use your rack primarily for squatting, benching, overhead pressing, all that sort of thing. You're using it secondarily for lat pull down, low rows, that sort of thing, and have stability. Get, get, I'd add that for sure, yeah. Uh, is rep the new rogue? No, that's a good one. Uh, no, I think rep still has a ways to go before I'd consider them the new rogue. Like rogue has been around, I mean rep's been around a while, but rogue has been around and here's what I, I would say of all the company, of everybody who's been influential in building the home gym space, rogue fitness has been second most influential and most helpful. The number one influential has been CrossFit. So CrossFit was most influential, I think, in building where we are. Then it went Rogue Fitness, and they were a part of that. Um, I think they were the two most influential. I think Rep uh, is giving Rogue a lot to think about, and I think they're doing a lot of great things. I think they are a little bit different. Like, there is, like, Rogue is made in the USA for a lot of their like their metal stuff. Not like you, nobody's making bumpers in the USA. Well, Fluorotech is, but really no, not a lot of people are. So both uh, companies I really value because they're competing and everybody is rising because of them and others. Um, but oh, man, it's hard to say because it's one year. And I don't feel like this was Rogue's best year in terms of innovation. They came out with some stuff that was okay. You got the CB4, nothing like over the top. They've got their functional trainer and their CT1 and some of the LP1. Those are amazing out of the reflex facility, but they're not really for the home gym owner where PRX is, PR or rep is making things for the home gym owner. Um, and I think this year for the home gym crowd, I feel like Rogue uh, or Rogue got beat by rep this year, but we'll see next year. I, I hope they both continue to fight each other and innovate because it's better for everybody else. I hope, I hope all these companies just hate each other because it just produces better content, you know, or better, better equipment. I want that. All right, painful shoulders, bench with elite FTS, cambered angled grips, or tightened camber bar with neutral grip. Shoulder side, which would you buy? Hmm. With elite FTS, camber angled grips, camber bar angle grips, or tightened camber bar with true neutral grip. Dude, honestly... Uh, if you're spending that much, I, I would go with, this is who I would go with. I would go with Kabuki and see if you can get a 15% off their Cadillac bar. That's the bet, like that bar is designed from somebody who trains extremely heavy, Chris Duffin, who has a very well understanding of biomechanics. And the handles on that are very, like companies have copied it, but it still doesn't feel the same as that one. That one feels so good on my shoulders. If you want to keep benching and like, I think it's worth spending the extra money to get the Kabuki. Out of those two, I mean, they're pretty similar. Titan copied, or it's very similar to the Elite FTS Cambridge Grip bar. Like they look the same, they're very similar. Uh, but personally, I'd go with the Kabuki Cadillac. I will say that on talking about Rogue, they're, uh, they're Cambered, thin, thinner, style uh, modular grip bar that thing is i'm so glad they updated that versus the old one that bar is competing and very close to the cadillac bar with some really cool features i i'm i actually i did not like the wide one at all the thin one it changed the, it changed my thoughts it's a good one flooring do i recommend for a large gym i mean you can't not mention st stall mats 
you know, I'm not employed by big stall mat, you know, like I, I just think they're a good value, Tractor Supply. The problem is Tractor Supply has realized these, these companies, they're so mean. They've realized that the home gym community uses their stuff and so they've changed the formula to make them cheaper. So I've noticed like they're a little bit thinner than they used to be. They're, they're kind of removing some rubber on the bottoms. They're using, using different uh, textures on top. They're not what they used to be. So, I, I mean, I will say rubber flooring ink, uh, that, like, that's what I used in my last gym. I used the Laco sound dampening tiles. They're amazing. But I really like uh, what rubber flooring ink's doing because they have pretty good deals. That's probably what I recommend because you could get rolls. I don't know how big the place is, but they're, yeah. So 30% off site wide with Give Thanks AP. 30% off site wide, so off, off flooring. That's probably what I'd look at, rubber flooring ink. Best mustache trimmer. <laughs> I don't trim my mustache. I just bite it. That's how you do it. Whenever I'm eating, it just gets in my mouth and I just keep chewing with my steak and everything. Okay, uh, I'm going to answer a few more questions um, and then I think we'll, we'll wrap it up. This is super fun. Uh, I'm looking into upgrading into a full rep Aries setup. Would you recommend the 4,000 as base or 5,000? 80 inch or 93 inch? I'm only 5'10". So similar height, I'm 5'9 and a half. Well, 5'9.375 if you were counting. Every inch matters. Uh, and I would go with 93 inch, unless you're in a basement and you, like that matters, but it doesn't seem like that matters. So I'd go with 93 inch and I would go with the 5,000. I think like there's a guy, Dylan Johnson, uh, who's in our home gym community, makes some amazing content and it, like really creates some really cool stuff uh, with his setup. Like it's very cool. Like you want to see any stuff, go to, go to our home gym community, type in his name, Dylan Johnson. Dude is like, he's like a MacGyver dude, creating all this stuff. And I noticed he has a Rep Airy setup, but he has a PR4000 because he has all the attachments for the 4000. And I, I would guess that he would, if he could go back he may say no, but I would guess if he could go back, he'd go with the 5000 series. And the reason being is you have all the holes on the side of the uprights too. And you may be thinking, I just need them on the front because I'm using like the um, J cups. But you're using more than that, especially with an Aries setup. You're somebody that wants attachments. So having full access on the side too and all access, like what, what these companies do is they build things for the high end and it trickles down. So they build attachments for the Rogue Monster series. They build them for the Soren X XL series. They build them for the Rep PR 5000 series. And then they retrofit them to fit the 4000 series, to fit the Monster Light series, to fit the, you know, the lower, the mid-tier stuff. So th the price difference isn't that much difference between those. And the price difference in attachments isn't, I think, that much different. Um, I'd go with the 5000. I'm sure there are people that would argue with me, but that if... I would go with that. Yeah, thanks for asking. Bells of Steel open trap bar um, compared to rep open trap bar. Yeah, that is a big difference. I'm looking at the Bells of Steel trap bar over here. It's got gold sleeves on it. They make one that doesn't. That's a, that's a, that's a, for, if you just want a bar to get the job done, that bar is just going to get the job done. Like it is, like you can get just as strong. It's very heavy duty and it's a, it's a, freaking great value at the price and it stands up all that sort of stuff like that to me is that is a bells of steel product like that's the epitome of them they're making stuff that's very functional um, and they're trying to do it at a very value basis still can be used heavy like i really like that product because they're pricing it really well um, and they're also doing some innovative stuff within that space and i think that's a perfect example of the bar but the rep one uh I really like because I can use it for things other than like in a trap bar. I can use it for camber squats and stuff like that. So um, for most people, I'd probably recommend that Bells of Steel bar because it's cheaper. But I, I personally use the rep bar um, more than I use that one. And I use the Kabuki and Aleko more than the rep one. But for value for an open trap bar that's modular, rep is really the king right now. But that Bells of Steel for a for a more budget-friendly version, that's the one I'd go with. I'm looking for just a bar to bench. Just a bar to bench, okay? Uh, the Kabuki Cadillac, I talked about that one. That one's really good. Bells of Steel, again, their arch bar, very cheap, 
similar to the Kabuki in design. The rep camber bar, like that's a good one. Man, I'm giving, there's a ton. We have a, we have a, like a breakdown coming out on this. If you'd like to see it, make sure you subscribe. I'm looking over here because I've got like nine, a nine bar holder with nine different camber grip bars. Uh, I'd go with any of those. If I was just gonna go with one, if you're looking for value, probably reps. Bells of Steel is, a, is cheaper and it has the similar design as Kabuki, but it's, it's just very lightweight, just feels kind of chintzy. Like it just does, because it's so lightweight, which can be value if you're using it for arm day and stuff like that. But I would probably go with reps. I think, I think it's a good enough bar. It, again, another bar where they thought through the features. Um, best GHD hyper combo you've used. The best one is the Sornex Frankenstein, Franken Hyper I have in my garage. Uh, the Bells of Steel Reverse Hammer is another option. Rogue's Donkey is another option. They're just so big. They're just, they take up so much space, they're very expensive. If you just want the best, yeah. But GHG versus Hyper, personally, I'd go with a reverse Hyper, and then I'd get a, uh, like from Freak Athlete, that's another one where I'm pretty sure, now that I've say them, I'm pretty sure we have a discount. Sam, do we have a discount with Freak Athlete? Why are they not on our page? We. We have, there's a discount with Freak Athlete. I, I believe this. so. Yeah, I know this. Okay, but they're doing 20% off store-wide. If you go to Black, if you go to Freak Athlete, which I'm in, on here right now, um, they have their Nordic Mini for 250 bucks, uh, which I think is a great deal. Or if you don't want like an individual stand, uh, you can go even cheaper and get like a, a single leg roller. And I've used that, and I would use that for Nordic curls. That would take care of your GHD stuff. Um, unless you're really wanting to do GHD setups, and then I'd get a reverse hyper. Uh, can you review on the Costco Inspire Fitness? Yes, I want to do more reviews on Inspire because we did their big unit, and I'm like, I'm impressed by it. It's got a lot of cool stuff, so I would look at that one. Um, limited space. Will a foldable rack limit me in the long run? Should I go with a four post? Foldable rack. If you've got the space, go with a full rack. Here's the thing, if you also, <laughs> this is the reality. You may have very good intentions, but if you get a foldable rack, you're not gonna fold it up. <laughs> Just not, because the way the pull-up bars attach, they're, they call them quick attach. They're not quick attach, they're slow attach. They're just annoying to attach. You gotta use cotter pins, all that sort of thing. You gotta take it off, you gotta get on a, a ladder, take it off, move it around. It just doesn't work as well as you'd like it to, I'm telling you. So if you're gonna go with a fold out foldable rack, I'd go with a PRX because it folds up, you can leave everything on it. Um, but if you've got the space, fill it, man. <laughs> That's like the most American westernized, you know, materialistic phrase ever. If you got the space, fill it. Uh, but really, <laughs> if you got the space, put a four post in there. Put a, put a, I'd go with the six post because then you have a place, put your plates. Uh, you, it, you will be happy you went with a power rack. Yeah, and they're safer. Um, okay, man, I said I was gonna stop talking. My wife says I like to hear myself talk, so this is a perfect example. I'm actually really enjoying this, listening to myself. I hope you are too. Would you ever do any reviews on any sports-specific training items, like hockey or MMA? So I played hockey all growing up, um, and I have thought a lot, especially as I've got four kids, as they get older, I'm thinking, you know, how can I help them in their training and achieve their goals? Like my son's doing jujitsu now, he'll play baseball, um, you know, he'll play different sports. I've bought some things, some tools that I'm planning to have him use to help his training and just help him go as far as he'd like to go. I want to support him in that way. So I have thought about that. And probably as I start accumulating and using more of that stuff, I'd love to give reviews on it. Because I know fitness for people's kids in their home gyms is a big part of it. Like my gym isn't just for myself, it's my kids too and my wife and my friends. So I have a lot of items that maybe I don't use as much, but they use. So if you'd like to see that, um, let us know because we will create that content. But I have thought about it and I should. Thanks for reaching out and letting us know. Um, but I will say for MMA, I do jujitsu now, so I'm thinking of different tools. A couple tools I use just to throw at you, um, they're for rotational athletes. So any throws you do, any striking, it's all rotational work. Uh, I use Pure Torque a lot, which is a, an ab device. I use um, Ancore, which simulates a Kaiser functional trainer that's like a 
super expensive, $5,000 piece, more than that, but in a small package, I use that because you can use a lot of dynamic work and he's iron neck because you can never have too big or have too strong of a neck. I now buy like, my shirts are like 33 sleeve and like 18 inch neck. It's pretty cool. All right, uh, all right, we got two more questions. What do you think about beds that specialize in tracking recovery like the eight sleep mattress? So I think, I think tracking that stuff is cool and helpful. I think it can become a problem. I've done a video on that. Uh, I use, I'm testing Aura Ring. I've tested Whoop. I've tested all of them. Um, I want to use Eight Sleep. I haven't used it yet. Uh, the biggest benefit I found uh, is I really like the vibrating waking up with the Whoop band. I would like that with Eight Sleep. And I like tracking my sleep. But I got to the point where I was looking at it too much and it would cause extra stress. And it's like, Stress is something I want to get out of my life as much as possible because that increases cortisol and will decrease your lifespan. I think as much or more than just about anything other than like not exercising, being sedentary and eating, you know, crappy food. But um, because of that, I don't want something that's supposed to help my health increase my stress, which is decreasing my health. So if it gets to that point, then I'd stop it. But um, yeah, I, re I recommend tracking all sorts of stuff if you're using it to influence you. I like to think of trackers as diagnostic tools, not as like, I use this every day, all day. Uh, I'm looking for a treadmill to buy this guy. <laughs> Sam put, this guy asked this question about 20 times. Persistence pays, baby. I'm looking for a treadmill to buy for my mom and for myself to use around $500, $800 price range. Man, I, that's a, uh, Mm. It depends if you want smart features. There's all that sort of, like, there's so many variables. This is the problem with that price range is you're buying a motorized treadmill. And motorized treadmills have lots of more complex components than, say, a squat rack, electricity, all that sort of thing, and they can break. They just can. Um, and you're not going to want to pay to have that thing fixed because it's going to cost just as much. It's like, it's like when you buy a printer and you have to replace the toner. It's cheaper to buy a printer than buy toner for it because that's where all these companies make money. So for a treadmill, that's going to be hard. I would look at Nordic Track because they're going to be able to meet that price range, and I would look between that price range to see what they've got. Um, or honestly, I'd probably recommend a different device. If you're using a treadmill, you're probably open to other types of equipment, um, and I would, I would suggest within that price range something else. And what I'd probably recommend is like an air bike. It's going to be low impact uh, and you can get just as good fitness as you could or better on a treadmill. It's not really going to break down. So I'd recommend like an assault bike or a Schwinn Airdyne or Bells of Steel with a French Sport Raptor or Rogue Echo Bike. Any of those, I've reviewed all of them. Or a rower. I think a, row, a rower would be fantastic or ski erg. And it's going to be a little bit more than that price range for a rower, but it's going to last. It'll, it's never going to break on you. Yeah. Okay, one other thing I want to call out just while I'm here is the website. Go to the website. Uh, our team spends so much time on this. I'm so thankful for our team, uh, partly because I don't have to do this anymore and they do it, but also because we have somebody who is working very hard uh, killing it with these deals. And we have a team that, like, as soon as we find them or we see them, we add them to the page. So, and there is a lot on here. So I highly recommend that. Shout out to our team that works on that. Um, best value for post rack. I got to answer it because you're paying for it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, best value for post rack three by three. Best value is probably going to be rep PR 5000. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, the Titan series may be a little bit cheaper depending on the sale. Okay. Or the rep Bells of Steel Hydra. Man, I could, oh, this is fun. Thank you guys for joining us. This is so fun. I'm so grateful for our community. I already you know, made my speech about thank yous. Uh, thank you to our team that's been a part of this. Thank you to you guys that have watched and put in questions. Uh, I love this. So we will probably do this again. Um, I'm glad I didn't say anything that would get us canceled, I don't think. Uh, so <laughs> this has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Thank you guys for coming along for the journey. Keep building your home gyms, keep moving, um, and we'll all get better together. We'll see you next time. Peace.